So we are trying to concentrate how to insert a data using Visual Studio, how to work with adware.net. Using adware.net we are trying to access SQL Server 2008 database. Okay. So you open SQL Server 2008, better you try to enter your system name or enter dot symbol to connect to your SQL Server database. Otherwise go to Server Authentication mode, apply right authentications, login details that you have given at the time of installation or you can also go for creating server authentication users and see this is simply server name and connect it to your SQL server database see to create database right click here select a new database and then go for a new database but I have already created a database here the name of this database is called my students and there we have a table the name of this table is called students I think I have already a record in this table number one is there and now we work with dot net visual studio and open visual studio try to design user interface i have already created user interface and see this user interface that contains three labels three text boxes and this is simply a button and this is to generate an action button click action the name of this button is add btn and we are using click action here and see to use sql database you need to import system.data.sql client library that contains collection of classes which are used to access sql server like databases and see to access your database there must be a connection object for that we are using SQL connection class create an object and this is said to be connection string so see the process to retrieve connection string go to server explorer connect to database select this icon or click this icon uh, enter your server name as dot and windows authentication mode that we are using and choose your database my students underscore db is our database and then finally test it after testing your connection right click on this connection of course automatically your sql server database will be dumped into the server explorer right click here and go to properties copy this connection path that's what i did earlier and after creating connection object better you just try to open connection object and see simply command object that contains two parameters one is called a command text another one is called a connection object always command text is in association with connection object now this command text is simply an insert command which is going to insert data into our table called students that contains serial number, name, course. See values are given as parameters. These are SQL command object parameters which are denoted with at the red symbol. And if there is a parameter you need to refer a value to that parameter. That's what we did here so and then see this is execute non query method after adding values to parameters you must go with a non query method which is going to return total set of rows affected by the command object finally this is our confirmation message and then so there there is something like close method better you just try to go for close method once your requirement is over and try to execute it and see double two is my serial number Vikram is the person name and C sharp is the course name see record has been inserted to check this record go to SQL server once you just try to refresh it right click here execute SQL see the record has been inserted into SQL server database table called student okay Thank you. This is the way. Try to insert data into SQL Server DB tables and see the program ones. And if you want this program, you can also visit my adiva.net programming manual in this website. Check each and every program carefully. Thank you very much.